Hey, I'm going to teach you how I time align vocals in Reaper using stretch markers. So first things first, we've got our comp, our comp's been glued, our comp's then been tuned using auto tune, then we will time align it using stretch markers. If you can see here, I've got each of those processes laid out. So I've got my comp that's unglued, then I've got my glued comp that has been tuned by auto tune, and then the other take is uh, rendered with the auto tune on it. The next step in the process is the stretch market version. Then the final step is gluing your stretch market version. So you have your final edited, perfectly in tune and perfectly timed vocal performance. All right, let's listen to the untime aligned version. I've been feeling low these days. So sick of all the hope that I'm meant to see. Tired of trying to pray for change. Cause this is what I'll always be This memory you don't need Sounds pretty sick Sounds like a good vocal performance And sounds like it's been tuned well Now, you could leave the vocal like that if you wanted to It would probably be a little bit more live feeling or loose However, for vocal stacking Like I'm doing in this song You kind of need your vocals to be very tight This is what it sounds like Without time aligning the vocal with the stack I've been feeling low these days So sick of all the hope that I'm meant to see Tired of trying to pray It sounds alright, but it sounds kind of confusing It doesn't sound like a solid group of vocals singing all together in time It sounds like someone's rushing, someone's slowing down Doesn't sound that great, doesn't sound very professional Now, as you can see, I've already time aligned all my layers Which you can listen to now Now I'm a huge fan of pop vocals and this is a kind of poppy approach to layering your vocals and putting your vocals together. I think pop music has the best sounding vocals so why not try and have the best sounding vocal. As you can see on the take up here, we've actually got a bunch of stretch markers almost on every word. This is how I like doing it. I like having my vocal either super in time or super where I want it. I don't want my vocal anywhere that I don't intend it to be. Everything in my productions is planned and it is looked at with a fine tooth comb. In engineering or in any pursuit in audio engineering, generally looking at things a little bit closer results in a more professional and tighter product. Don't be mistaken for this to be edit the life out of everything. That's not the case. However, as a starting point, edit things tighter, then loosen them up because you want them loose. Don't just leave things loose because you're lazy. All right, so let's edit this vocal. So I'm gonna place some stretch markers because I've done this for a while. I can kind of see exactly where I want the stretch markers already. If you can take a guess, guess where they should be, but for me, I know exactly where they should be. They should be at the start of your words, after the consonant, or after the plosive, so that you can bring things in time. Other people do it differently. I do it like this. Then lately I've been dragging stuff slightly back to give things a little bit more of a laid back feel. For this production, I didn't do that. So let's go through and place some markers. All right, so this word is definitely uh, rushed. So I'm gonna chuck a marker just here. Then I'm gonna chuck a marker over here, marker here. Marker here. The way I'm placing these markers is with Shift W and it places a stretch marker. I am turning on and off snap in Reaper with uh, Alt S. This will stop it from snapping to somewhere you don't want it to. Just going through with snap off, placing my markers. I'm doing this with snap off straight away because it's much easier than turning it on and off over and over again. All right, placing a bunch of markers. Placing one here, one there. As you can see, it's slightly different than our previous one, but that's not gonna really matter in the end. They're both gonna be very tight. Now, there's two ways you can go about this to really snap it into time. Way one is going through by hand, turning on snap, and dragging your points to the grid. That works pretty well, but that's also pretty slow. So, if you can see in our menu for stretch markers, just here, there is a snap to grid using Shift S. I use Snap to Grid all the time for this. It's great. It saves me so much time. It means that I can edit a song of vocals in 
you know, 20 minutes or something and do all the stacks and everything and it'll just blaze through. So let's go Shift S. And as you can see, there's been an error. What is the error? One, I've messed up the placement of one stretch marker. Two, it snapped it to the wrong spot. This is one of the problems with snapping it to grid. So the way we can fix that is we can snap this over here. Bam, that's in time. See this marker's in the wrong spot? We don't want that. It's also got an additional marker that we don't need. So I'm gonna highlight a selection. Stretch markers. Stretch markers in selected items within time selection. Remove. No more stretch markers there. We're back to the original audio that's slightly stretched. Now I'm gonna go and place another stretch marker here. Bam, perfect. Now we're gonna go through and proof it. Make sure that our markers are all in the right spot. We're missing a marker here, just to bring this in time. Checking our markers, making sure nothing's been snapped at the wrong spot. I note on this, the main things I'm looking for are to tighten up the end and starts of words. I want the ends and starts of words to be exactly where I intend them to be. I don't want my stack to have a bunch of S's that end at different points and it's like S -s 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 -s. Sounds terrible. Makes it sound pretty amateur to me. Don't want that to happen. Now that all our stretch markers are placed and our vocals in time, the next step is making our stretch markers sound good. If you listen back to the performance now, it sounds pretty bad. I've been feeling low these days, so sick of all the hope that I'm meant to seek. Everywhere a stretch marker is placed sounds bad. A lot of the words sound bad. This is because the default algorithm in Reaper isn't meant for vocals. So what we need to do is we need to change the pitch shift or time stretch mode to something that sounds better with vocals. I prefer going to tonally optimized and elastic 3.3.3 soloist. I then do a fade time of 15 or 10. Sometimes you need longer, sometimes you need shorter. 15 works most of the time. You can see here in this other take, I've chosen 20. Just whatever I type in usually works. You don't want it too short though, because having it too short will actually sound wacky and too long will also sound wacky, so yeah. I've been feeling low these days. I've been feeling low these days. So sounds sick, sounds very in time. One thing you'll notice is that this breath here sounds pretty wacky. So what you need to do is you need to automate the volume on that just so things don't sound weird. Using stretch markers, you'll obviously have some, some breaths and stuff like that that'll get stretched too long. Starts with words that'll get stretched too long. You can fix that. I've been feeling low. Sounds pretty cool. Let's go back to the one that I spent a while on and edited for the actual song. This song is Forever Sinking by my band Ocean Sleeper. And here it is. I've been feeling low these days. So sick of all the hope that I'm meant to see. Tired Listening back to this now, there's actually a couple of things I've changed. There's the low starts late in the layers. However, in the mix, the master Jeff Dunn made it sound sick. That is how I edit vocals in Reaper using stretch markers. Very easy technique, very effective. We'll work on a bunch of different sources, mainly vocals. Try it out.